Hi everyone, welcome back and thank you for joining me this week. This week's a little bit bittersweet for me. Um, first, I'll start with the good news is it's a Monday, which is weird for me to do a video, but it is the official social media release of the newest Light Elegance fall collection. Uh, so these guys are going to be available on August 1st, but you can pre-order starting right now. Um, so as always, you know, they've done their six new glitters and, and their six new colors as well. And I have swatched all of those out for you as well as done some comparisons as well. And then uh, for the bad news, this is going to be my last video for the next probably month. Um, definitely at least three weeks, but potentially four. I am doing my 200 hour yoga teacher training, which is super exciting for me. Um, but enough about myself and I hope you guys enjoy this week's video. All right, so the first new color that I have for you today is Bearded Lady. This one is a really pretty milk chocolate kind of color. And I've done a comparison with the only other brown Light Elegance currently has, which is Espresso Yourself. And as you can see, Bearded Lady is quite a bit lighter. Espresso Yourself is more of a black brown, where Bearded Lady is more of like a chocolatey, milky kind of brown. Next, I have this really pretty new, like, purpley, taupey nude kind of color uh, called Come One, Come All. When I first saw this color, my instant thought was it's just like Hold Me Closer. So my first comparison is Hold Me Closer. And as you can see, it is quite a bit more purple toned and less pink toned. And then my second thought was actually this kind of reminded me of Earl Grey a little bit also. And as you can see, it is again more purpley and less gray than Earl Grey. It's almost like a combination of Silver Screen Beauty with Earl Grey. It's absolutely beautiful. Next up, I have Jester, which is a really pretty kind of deeper pink color. As far as pink goes, I actually kind of like this one, which is saying a lot if you know me and how much I like pink. And then for the comparison on this, I know these two don't really look alike, but I found the bases to be very, very similar. So this is Eskimo Kisses, and Jester to me is just like Eskimo Kisses without all the shimmer. Next up, and of course my personal favorite, is Main Attraction. This is a really, really gorgeous plum purple with a ton of shimmer loaded into it. It did make me think of the color Tangled Mittens, and then once I pulled them out, you can see that there's a lot more of a pink tone in comparison to Tangled Mittens. It is a little bit richer too, in my opinion. And the next color is Ringmaster, which is a really pretty olive green. Of course, this instantly made me think of G.I. Jane, and when I pulled it out, it is quite a few shades darker, but it is in the same kind of color family. So it's a great sort of army green, just on the darker side, more of an olive. And the last, but definitely not the least color, is It's Showtime. And this one I think is gonna be super popular. I just wanna take half a second to appreciate the coverage with one coat on this bad boy. It is absolutely gorgeous. And of course, when I first saw this, I instantly thought of Dollface and Timey Tenderly. But next to Dollface, you can see it is way less pink. And next to Timey Tenderly, you can see it's a lot less gold. So it's more of a neutral champagne kind of color, and the amount of shimmer in this is absolutely unreal. I am in love with this color. Now moving on to the glitters. The first one I have here is Fire Breather. This one has a lot of dimension to it. It has almost kind of a pinky sort of red in there as well as an orange and a yellow. This one reminded me of Springboard. It's just a little bit more intense. Um, so it is a similar sort of palette, but I found Springboard was kind of more see-through, a little bit more iridescent. Next up, and my new favorite glitter is Smoke and Mirrors. This one is kind of has a bit of like a purpley tone to it, um, but it is still quite silver. There's a little bit of a gray almost. It's really pretty. Um, the glitter itself is a little bit larger than your average glitter as well, so it makes it extra sparkly. This one I've pulled out Pop the Bubbly, which is kind of that sort of purpley silvery glitter again but you can see smoke and mirrors is still quite a bit more silver and i did find it pulled really silver on the camera so i wanted to actually show you it besides silver sparkle so you can see it does have more dimension there is a little bit of that purple tone as opposed to just the straight silver 
Next up we have Clowning Around and again this is a pink that I actually kind of enjoy. I find this one to be a little bit different because it has actual circle dots in it rather than the kind of octagon or hexagonal glitter pieces that are usually in the chunkier glitters. So this one's really fun. I did find it to be a very similar base to French Kiss but I did find it had a little bit more silver in it. Next up is Lion Tamer, and I actually really like this one as well. It's a bit of a coppery brown sort of glitter. The first glitter that came to mind for me was cinnamon, and then holding it next to it, it kind of has the same copper in there, but it has way more brown, so it is quite a bit darker than cinnamon. And then I also found that it was quite similar to Jacked Up, except for it doesn't have that sort of green iridescence to it, it's just copper and brown. This next one is called Snake Charmer and I actually really enjoy this one as well. So this one is a black glitter with a lot of a emerald green and a little bit of kind of like a cobalt blue glitter spread throughout it. And I found this one closest to Big Dipper but it's more green where Big Dipper is a lot more blue and kind of has those larger silver chunks and those iridescent pieces throughout it as well. And last, but again, certainly not least, is the new color Daredevil. And this one is totally different from all the other glitters. It is the same sort of idea as Joan Crawford with the gold mylar, but this one is a gold, a dark brown, and a copper mylar all mixed together. It has really nice small chunks, so it's nice and easy to apply. It's a great way to apply mylar rather than having to cut it and fight with it. So I'm really happy with this color as well. So here they are, all six new colors and six new glitters. This collection is called Under the Big Top and it is available August 1st. The colors of course come in a 6mm and a 17mm and the glitters in a 17mm. Pre-orders are available now so make sure you get those in so you don't miss out on our first round of these. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them in the section below. Thank you for always subscribing to our channel and liking and sharing our videos. As always, you can also support us by following us on Instagram and liking us on Facebook.